Hey everyone, it's Ryzen, and welcome back to Let's Play Summoner. Well, first things first, uh, make sure you save the game. Uh, there's something that I do want to farm, and it is in limited supply, so if I don't get it, I'm going to have to reload and try again. Okay, let's talk to the Guardian of the Shrine now. I'm just going to select Cure Poison, just in case that screws it up if I don't. Who knows, the game is so buggy. Yep, this is the Summoner. Yeah, we uh, heard that already. Oh, well, that's not good. Oh, so you were one of them, huh? But you managed to get away. Ah, oh, yes, the Ring of the Forest. <laughs> Our reward for going through this area is a summoning ring that is not very good. Yeah. Well, we gotta confront Murad. Oh, that's right, General Wintow's on his way. How they're gonna get through the poison, I have no idea, but whatever. Now, I highly recommend you uh, advance towards the army that's coming, because if the Guardian of the Shrine dies, you can still get the ring from his corpse, but you can't get the tree bark, so don't do that. But I would quickly cast Protect and Faith. I probably don't need Faith because of my magic resistance, but I'll go ahead and cast it. Why not? Alright, let's uh, make our way over here. Oh, yeah. I guess I somehow missed that dialogue. Whoops, Joseph. But, uh, anyway, uh, these guys are not Arrhenian soldiers. They're elite samurais. I have no idea why they're all misnamed, but they are. Just trip and backstab these guys. I would cast, uh, Regenerate on my three melee fighters here. Maybe get an empower going on uh, Jakar, or not Jakar, Joseph. Get overpower going on uh, Jakar. Uh, these elite samurais, they have uh, no weaknesses, but they can drop a Kishin Impaler, and I want one. It's a common drop. They actually have four different drops, but I think the Kishin Impaler is actually the most common drop. Now, I can't target these guys till they stop moving, which is strange. They just kind of spawn in out of nowhere. I don't think you actually got Empower, did you? So, I don't know what the hell that guy is doing, running in a circle, but it's kind of annoying. But I want the Kishin Impaler because I think it's the best weapon. Oh, there it is. I got it. I think it's the best weapon in the game for Fleece. Uh, because it's slightly weaker than what I have now. But it's relatively fast. And more importantly, it can cast Death. Which can instantly kill an enemy. Unfortunately, it just casts the Death spell. It doesn't actually do instant death. But hey, if it you know kills an enemy here and there... That's certainly better than 5 attack power. There's only one more dagger that's debatably better than this, and... I think this is the best dagger in the game for normal enemies. I suppose for bosses, I'll still use the Gutting Dirk. It is a one-handed sword, but it is backstab capable. Uh, the other enemy that we can fight here, they're called Generic Mages, but they're not. They're actually Arenian Mages. Again, they're misnamed. And uh, they're resistant to... Well, they're strong against... Uh, fire, ice, and energy. They can drop a staff, which is not very good. You can silence them if you want. But I have faith on, so I don't really think it's that necessary. 
You could get overpower on the Celestial Samurai, but I usually don't bother. Uh, General Wintow himself is just a slightly stronger Elite Samurai. He's one of the easiest bosses in the game. Yeah, these guys, they have some uh, fire magic, but they're really easy to deal with. I think General Wintow is here already, right? Yeah. Yeah, we got him here. Oh, apparently these guys can curse you. I didn't realize that. I think I already got General Wintow. Wow. Oh, no, I didn't. He just got knocked down. Uh, if he got knocked down, let's go ahead and hit him with a nice backstab. Or we can start this auto-targeting crap again. There we go. Well, that didn't actually work. Wintow is probably immune to instant death, I'd imagine, but... I don't know, I never got it to actually cast the spell on him at all. Well, that's the last of them. Of course it is. Success. Ah, there we go. Good. So far I haven't needed to re-equip the Ring of Thieves. That is obnoxious, but not a big deal. Get a little bit of money from that guy. Okay. Uh, I want to equip the... Well, how much experience do I have? Oh, wow. Uh... I'm actually almost done with the Ring of Water. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that on for now. I think at 60,000 I'll get the next summon. Oh, I need to... Actually, identify that. I need to have the uh, Thief Scotland on. Let me see the Ring of Forest here. I want to see how much it started with. Oh, I don't think I have it yet. <laughs> well, whatever. Let's just talk to this guy. That's right. He still has the ring right now. When Tao has been defeated. Gives us the ring. I guess cure the poison again. Whatever. <laughs> now we need to ask for two pieces of bark. Who am I to pass judgment? It's pretty funny. Yeah, cure the poison again. Why not? <laughs> okay. The ring of poison, or forest. Eh, it didn't start with much. That's okay. It actually does give you a decent increase to dodge and uh, parry. Which is cool. Here, let's banish the summon here. I'll show you what's at the top of this shrine. Nothing important, if you're curious. Yeah, he doesn't even have, like, a place to sit or anything. It's just weird. Blow this wood around, you think he'd make a chair, but... Apparently not. Somehow he's got two lights. And then another two there. I don't know how he has that, but, you know, whatever. I think if he dies, you actually get experience for it. He would have helped you fight. Uh, he's just kind of like a mage character, so he cast, uh, I think he cast the energy spell over and over and over again. The lightning spell, that's what it is. I forget if he casts anything else, but... Now, I will probably never summon this guy again. I don't even know what chain attacks he has, to be honest. I've never used him. He's horrible. He's weaker than the Celestial Samurai and doesn't have the magic abilities that the Blue Imp has, so I don't see the point. Also, his health bar is bugged. It's graphically bugged for some reason. Yeah, I, I don't know what the hell that's about. But he can, uh, 
poison the enemy. That's basically all he does. And... Oh, I guess he's got trip. That actually could be pretty good. And... He moves pretty damn fast. So that's kind of nice. Other than that... He sucks horribly. I wouldn't use him! Ever. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Now, my question is, why couldn't we just enter from this side? If you leave and re-enter, you can't enter from this side. Whatever, at least it's a shortcut out. Okay, let's, uh, make a save. And get going out of here. Let's get back to Wolong. I'd like to make it without finding Along. That would be annoying. I think I can give him the bark before talking to Ruidi, but I forget exactly. I don't remember. Am I gonna make it? Nope. Well, since I care so much, I'm gonna show off the... Poison here. I'm gonna have to uh, blind this guy because he feels the need to beat up on... Poor Rosalind over there. Let's see what chain attacks he has. Could you attack, please? I'd like to see your chain attacks. He's got Mind Drain, Life Leech, Desperation, and Trip. So, he's really only good as a trip uh, user, I guess. Oh, let's cast that poison spell. Yeah, it poisons pretty easily, but why would I poison an enemy when I can just kill them? Plus, I think he can do it with his normal attack anyway. Yeah, he seems to be doing that just fine. Although, I suppose one thing I didn't test that I'm now thinking about... Amazing what you think of when you actually are let's play in the game. I should have tested this. I don't know if bosses are susceptible to poison. If they are, I imagine that would be decent, actually. I don't know. Come on, Joseph. There we go. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, if uh, poison works on bosses... Something to consider, but... Then I'd have to... Banish him, and then summon the actual summon I care about using. That seems like it would be really inefficient. When I could just trip and be done with it. Alright. Let's just wrap things up here. By the way, if there's anything else you need to do in Wolong, or not Wolong, in Arrhenia itself, do it now, because once we go to the next area, that's it. Uh, we... pretty much can't do anything else. You can't leave the next area once you go in. It's a point of no return. But I would suggest doing everything before you go in there. By the way, this guy's a dick. <laughs> oh, and now his dialogue isn't even triggering anymore. Yeah, we get no reward for talking to him other than a thousand experience. Nice, huh? Well, let's hand over uh, Bane's kiss. We get Nandi's potion. It's a consumable item. Let's take a look at it. I'll never use it, but... It's there. It gives you four regenerate charges. It's actually a very potent regeneration. Uh, I think it's way better than the spell you can cast, but you only get four charges... And it's unique. I mean, why would you ever use it? It's, like, too good to use. 
basically, so... What the hell? But let's head over to, uh... Fang Yin here. Say that we've completed the task. We get a parrying dagger for that. Let's take a look at that. I'm never going to use it, but it's there. Oh, by the way, I should equip uh, Fleece with the Thief's Gauntlets for now. And let's go ahead and identify stuff. I'd like to find that parrying dagger. It's a fast dagger that gives you parry plus three. I don't like it. I never use it. Identify that torque of time. It requires plus ten. Identify or appraise or whatever it is. I think it's appraise. And go back to our... Steel Gauntlets. So now we gotta hand over the statue pieces. Got the right arm. We get the left arm. Now if you talk to him again, we can ask him how the statue's coming. And we get the Anti-Magus Torque. I forget what it does. Let's find out. Hopefully I don't have to appraise it. No, I don't. Oh, it gives you Resist Magic plus 3, which could be pretty good, but... I'm not going to use it. Let's go ahead and sell that Robe of Restoration. You can get a second one, by the way, so if you're worried about not having one in your inventory for whatever reason, you can get a second one. It requires a side quest, but you can do it. There it is, the Robe of Restoration. Go ahead and give that a quick sell. And we have a ton of money. Also, you could sell that anti Vegas Torque if you'd like. That sells for a pretty penny. There's other things that you can sell. Uh, but I guess I'll do that later. I have to think about what I want to sell. I'll get another piece of armor that I can sell as well. I can't sell any... Uh, gems I've got right now, so I have to wait till chapter 3 to do that. That should almost certainly give me the remaining money I need. Let's see, we want to head over to Long Yue. I thought about selling that Shadow Haramaki, but I can't get another one of those, I don't think. Oh, yes I can. The Shadow equipment that the one rider dropped. Yeah, anything the riders drop, you can, uh... Get a second copy of it later. Here's your hat. We get a well-honed katana, which... Well, it's a better two-handed weapon. If you're using two-handed weapons, I guess you could use it. Let's take a look at it. No, I think the shard sword's just still better. We will eventually get a two-handed sword that will be good, but I guess not that one. That one's decent, I guess. Now we want to head over into the Wolong Caverns. You don't need to see me walk all the way up there, so I'm going to go in there, and I'll meet you when I get in there. Okay, here we are in uh, the Caverns of Wolong, and... For some reason this time, I'm locked into the high camera angle. Okay, that's odd. Huh. Whatever. 
I have to just take out this one blue minotaur. I want to save in case I screw up. Enjoy this music for the last time. Sort of. You'll see what I mean. Later. <laughs> Talk to this guy. Yeah, we know about the human sacrifices. Do not open the box. Pick the second option. Let's tell him the story of Pia o or Pia Obo. I, I don't know how you pronounce that. Piabo? I, I don't know. Why is this music so good? Oh. 800 years ago? Well. That's the end of her immortality. I wonder what happened. Now don't be like me and go back to Liangshan to try and find her. No, you can actually complete the quest by searching around Wo Long. I'll meet you all the way at the bottom of this uh, area. <laughs> you don't need to see me walk down. Okay, I'm back at the bottom of the wooden ramp area. Whatever the hell that place is for. Well, let's head on over to... Well, where we gotta go, I guess. We wanna head over here. Was that her? I don't think so. No. This person doesn't show up until you throw the box in. She won't show up if you throw the box in and, um, open it. <laughs> if you open it and then throw it in. But yeah, it's Piabo. She gives you, uh, the Ring of Control, which... I'm not really going to use. Aha! I finished off these two rings. Awesome. So let's go ahead and equip the Ring of Forest. Now, you'll see how you can summon the Dragon of Water and the Dragon of Four Winds, which I think you can do at 60,000 experience. Those are, uh, like earlier Final Fantasy summons, where you just summon it and it does a big attack and then it's done. I don't recommend using them because they can freeze your game very easily. They also suck horribly, so... Yeah. The only one that's remotely useful is the, uh, Four Winds Dragon. Because it deals, like, non-elemental damage, and it's like the only non-elemental damage attack in the game. Other than another attack called Jade Beam that we don't have access to yet. At least I think it's the Dragon of Four Winds. I forget, I... Never use those dragon summons. Could, could you stop playing with my controller? Thank- no, Luna. God, she's annoying. Do not step on my PBR. Luna, stop. She's a nightmare to deal with. It's just a wire. So yeah, the solution to my wire problem was to wrap them all in- Don't you step on that! Get off the PVR! She might stop this recording. Are we good now? No? Anyway, all my wires are wrapped in split loom, uh, cabling. So, she can't at least chew into the wires, which is good. But anyway, there's one more thing we have to do. We have to find Along and uh, Death the Cat, both of which are in a Grasslands encounter. Death the Cat is in a nighttime encounter in the grass with Gargons. Along will run right into you in a daytime encounter in the grass. 
This may take a while. I will be back when I find them. Okay, uh, I found Death the Cat, and I got paralyzed instantly. Could, could you please stop? Man, she's insane. Going crazy right now. What the? I look down to look at the cat and my entire party is paralyzed. What are you doing, Luna? Oh my god. Stop. Wow. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit on my lap and be a good girl. No, stop. Stop. She is annoying. Freaking squirmy little cat. Alright, here we go. Let's talk to... I, I gotta talk to your cousin in this game. What the hell are you doing, Rosalind? Oh, there she goes. Yeah, go, go play over there. It's no big deal if she steps on the PVR as long as I notice it. Since I can just restart the recording. Whatever, Death the Cat is... Somewhere. Where the hell is this cat? I thought I just saw him. Oh, there he is. So we want to, uh... Yeah, let's just go through this dialogue again. It doesn't matter, but... There we go. It bothers me if there's other dialogue options. Give the cat the piece of bark. You get 2,000 experience. That's it. That's all you get. And if you talk to the cat again... That's all you get. Yeah, you get nothing from the cat. Maybe Along will give us a reward. I hope so. It's a pain in the ass to find him. I hate Gargons. She was being so good an hour ago, and now she's going crazy. I'll be back when I find Along. Okay, I actually found him. So let's talk to Along. Now we can actually tell him about the tree bark. Sorry if you can hear the cat playing. There's nothing I can do about that in the background. Let's, uh... Give him the tree bark. And it says he gives us something, but... I guess they forgot to have him give you something, because... All you get is 2,000 experience. That's it. I don't know what's up with that. That's very weird, but that's the last quest we can do going into the Chapter 2 conclusion. So the only quests that we still have are Ring of Jade, Heir of King Belius, Fate of Ruka. Uh, we have the Emperor's Dragon Scales, but we will be completing that. We still have the Tome of Ghanas, can't complete that. We have the Secrets of Doc Hanum. Durgan's Lucky Charm. So all of them, except for the Emperor's Royal Sk or Dragon Scales, uh, will be transferring into Chapter 3. And, of course, the Ring of Jade is a story quest that we're going to complete right now. Well, on the next episode, we'll complete that quest. If you have any other quests in that quest log, you still have a quest to complete here. Okay, I'm back, and uh, right over there is Wolong. So from Wolong, we want to follow this road to the north. We're going back to where the Tower of Ela was. Which is now not the Tower of Eli, it's now a random encounter. <laughs> no, it's now the uh, Jade Temple, for some reason. You can't re-enter the Tower of Eli, even though you can clearly see it there. Which is odd, but whatever. Okay. I'm going to end it here. On the next episode. Well, let's go ahead and allocate... Uh, Jakar's 
points here. That way, on the next episode, I'll just head into the Jade Temple and right into the Chapter 2 finale. Okay, level 20. Magic resistance plus 2. She's chasing her tail around. It is annoying. Okay. Uh, yeah, that'll get your magic resistance up to 8. Which is pretty damn good. Yeah, 80% magic resistance. That's pretty good. How's Fleece doing, anyway? She's only got 2 magic resistance, but she has 50% somehow. I'll take it. Okay, so let's save. And next time, we will... I think we'll actually finish Chapter 2. Uh, the final area of Chapter 2 isn't very long. Just make sure before you go in there, you've done everything you need to do. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.